Hello friends. Welcome to the next lecture in kinematics of machines. So in this video lecture, we shall see the concept of Klein's construction. So Klein's construction is the simplest form of graphical method to determine the velocity and acceleration of only the slider crank mechanism. So we cannot determine the velocity and acceleration of four bar mechanism using this but only we can determine the velocity and acceleration of the slider crank mechanism. So as I said, this is the graphical method and it is one of the easiest graphical method to determine the velocity and acceleration. So in this video lecture, we shall see with an example of a slider crank mechanism, how the velocity and acceleration is obtained just by making some minor constructions and those are known as the Klein's construction. So friends, please stay tuned with this video lecture. Before we begin with this lecture, I request you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you have not yet subscribed, please click the bell icon for the notification of the videos that will come on this YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram and like our Facebook page, Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. The links are in the description below. So friends, let's begin with the video lecture. So here you can see in front of you a slider crank mechanism with crank AB, a connecting rod BC and the slider C. So here as this crank moves, the slider will slide in this horizontal direction. So during that particular motion, we pick an orientation that is this crank will be inclined at certain angle. So in that orientation, we just take that position and we do the Klein's construction. So the procedure is this way. So the first step is from this point A, we draw a vertical line. The second step is we extend the connecting rod BC such that it meets this vertical projection at point M. So here we get the distance BM. Now we draw a circle with B as the center and BM as the radius. So here we get this smaller circle. Now if you observe closely in this particular diagram, we get a triangle AMB. So we plot that triangle over here that is AMB. Now this triangle will represent the velocity diagram for this particular mechanism. So if you see here, you don't have to redraw those velocity diagrams like what we used to do in the graphical method. So here, just with this simple construction, we get the velocity diagram. So in this, the BA will represent the velocity component of the crank AB. Then BM will represent the velocity component of the connecting rod BC. And lastly, this will be the velocity component CA. So here, with this velocity diagram, we'll proceed further now to obtain the acceleration diagram. So here, you might ask me the question, how can VCA be vertical? So if you see here, this particular triangle, when you rotate it, you will get this VCA as horizontal and the other components will be in line with these links and ultimately those will be the directions of the velocity. So you just need to rotate this triangle in the clockwise direction by 90 degrees so you can get the exact velocity diagram. So this VCA will be then horizontal to this CA. Clear? So now to obtain the acceleration, we first obtain a midpoint N on this connecting rod BC. Then with N as the center and NC as the radius, we draw a larger circle. So this larger circle will intersect the smaller circle at two points, one over here and second at this point, they will be named as point O and point P. Next step is we join this OP with a straight line and extend it further till this horizontal AC till it meets point Q. Now again, if you notice here, you can see a triangle or the polygon or you can say a quadrilateral over here. So before that, we'll locate some more points here. So now this OQ will intersect the connecting rod BC at point R and the smaller circle will intersect BC at point S. Now we shall draw this quadrilateral ABRQ over here. 
So you can say this ABRQ is drawn. So this ABRQ quadrilateral is nothing but the acceleration diagram for this slider crank mechanism. So here the AB will represent the vector which is the radial component of acceleration of the crank AB. AC will represent the acceleration of the slider. So slider will be sliding in the linear motion. So there won't be any radial or tangential acceleration for this. We will have only a single acceleration component that is FAC. Then RQ that is this line RQ will represent the tangential acceleration component of the connecting rod BC. So denoted as FTCB and this RB the small segment will represent the radial acceleration component of the connecting rod BC denoted as FRCB. So with this just if you measure these dimensions either in velocity diagram or in acceleration diagram you can get the velocity and acceleration component. But to know the exact or the resultant acceleration of the connecting rod BC you join B to Q with a straight vector. So this will be the acceleration component of BC. So that's it with this two circles we get the velocity and acceleration diagram and that is the Klein's construction. So here we have few points to note that is now with respect to this mechanism the velocity and acceleration diagram we have few points to note. So the first point is that the acceleration of the piston C with respect to the crank pin B that is FCB may be obtained by this equation that is omega square will be equal to FCB upon BQ. Omega is nothing but the angular velocity of the crank BA. So you can substitute there. BQ will be nothing but from this acceleration diagram you can get this length BQ. So this when you substitute you get the acceleration component of this link that is FCB that is the connecting rod. The next point to note is that to find the velocity of any point D on the connecting rod. So this procedure was just for the mechanism but now suppose there is a point on this mechanism and you need to find the velocity and acceleration of that point. So here is the procedure. So what we do is we divide this BM which we had got. So I have shown over here. So this BM is divided in that same ratio in which this point D divides the connecting rod BC. So we get similar triangles over here. So we write that as BD1 that is this length upon BM that is the total length will be BD upon the total length BC. So velocity of any point D can be given as VD equal to omega. This is nothing but the angular velocity of the crank into the length AD1 which we draw over here and measure it. Clear? So to find the acceleration of that any point D, the connecting rod BC, so here we draw a line from D parallel to the horizontal AC. So here we draw this line parallel to the horizontal AC till it intersects this BQ which we draw over here at the point D2. So acceleration of this D will be given as FD. So this will be the angular velocity square of the crank AB into the length over here AD2. So you can measure this segment AD2, substitute here and you will get the acceleration of any point D on this connecting rod. So that's all friends in this about the Klein's construction. So if you have understood the explanation, please like and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. The links are in the description below. So friends, thank you very much for your support.